Hey guys, I've kind of ran into a problem. Uh, well, it might be a problem. I don't know yet. It's one of those situations that you really don't think about when you're building something like a game engine. And this problem is the lack of documentation or tutorials or anything for a, not, not the game engine, but the physics engine because that's a complicated mathematical disaster of a mess, <laughs> okay? And to be honest, you know, I can make a rudimentary, you know, physics engine where it's just basically, if it hits this, uh, you know, that's your ground. If you jump, you know, you have a pull weight and it brings you back down over a period of time. That is a very rudimentary point of physics. I can do that. But collisions, for example, like if you have two objects that collide, well, in 3D space. Now, in 2D space, that can be, you know, brute forced, and you can actually make a 2D engine, fair, physics engine, fairly easy. But a 3D physics engine, especially when you're dealing with different kinds of shapes and you you know you have to think in terms of rectangles versus spheres you know when it comes to physics engines and how they collide and how they wrap around a very complex looking model but they may be a complex model but they're surrounded with a physics sphere or a physics rectangle and so when two rectangles intersect well then suddenly you have what's known as a collision. This is physics engine as I understand it. And although, like I said, I could put something rudimentary together, I, that is from a 2D perspective. In 3D, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not that good with that kind of math. I don't know it that well. So the problem is... I was looking for a book or something, and here's the problem. They're all in C++. I did find this. Now, it's not that it's a C-based library physics engine. It's written in C, but its binding is C++, and the way it's designed is C++. I don't know how they did that, but I I was looking at into it and looking into the code and its example code is all C++ even though it looks like a bulk of the library is in C is in C but then they add a lot of python and other aspects of it and so it becomes a disaster and I was looking into it and I'm like Ugh, this is there's got to be a tutorial or something that can show in C and I'm looking at even projects like this. This is all coded in C, right? So you go into the source, and you can see it's all C source code. You can click on any of it, and you can tell that it's actual C language, okay? Um, and how do I know? Well, because the headers, things like this. Uh, for example, if it's like, say, string without the dot H, then I know I'm dealing with C++. If it's just, but if it does have like the dot H for that header file, then I know I'm dealing with C. So because some people have actually tricked me, they'll have the extension of C instead of CPP, but then all the code will be in C++. Yeah, that gets annoying. Um, so this person made a kind of Minecraft clone. It's a miniature version of it. It doesn't have much um, as in terms of physics. It's just basic square, so if you run into it. The basics of what's in here is not that complex. This is something I know how to do. But let's say, for example, because in here, you don't have, you don't have a, anything shooting, you're not shooting a gun. So that's where, like for example, bullet physics comes into play here. Because then you have collisions based off a trajectory, based off of wind and gravity, and these are all into effect part of the whole physics idea. And that's where I'm having a problem. 
because trying to find a physics engine in C is not easy. There isn't one, except for maybe this, if I was to tear it completely apart and, you know, like go through it line by line, trying to understand what they're doing. But again, they've mixed C++ and Python into it. This was the only one that I could find that had anything written in C. Everything else is in C++, and this is the problem that I'm running into. If I can't figure this out, if I cannot, like if you guys know something, please let me know. If you know a actual C binding interface for a physics engine, please let me know. Outside of that, I may have no choice here. Um, I may actually have to code an engine actually in C++ only because there's just no engine, uh, physics engines. You know, the game engine itself I can code in C. That's not the problem. It's the physics engine. That's where the problem is. And if I want to get into some of the games that I want to get into creating, I'm going to need an actual real good physics engine. Otherwise, the game's going to crap out. Everybody's going to dislike it, and the game will just never get off the ground. So a physics engine is very important. Like I said, a Minecraft-style physics engine is actually easy to do because all you're doing is if you come up against a certain rectangle, then your camera just won't go any further. But when you want to get into trajectories, trajectories, I know I'm going to say that word eventually, um, things like that, and then collisions and from a distance where you have, like, say, two characters, or let's say you're trying to hit an animal, or let, let's say you're just trying to do archery, trying to hit a bullseye, you know, uh, that takes actual physics, like a real physics engine. <sighs> yeah. So I'm trying to study, I'm trying to find anything I can that can help me out on this. I'm going to save this. Uh, this is called craft uh, just because I liked I like experimenting with other people's stuff so uh, I, I that's a one way of how I learn now a lot of these will say oh well look at all these C engines in here but everyone that I have looked at uh, they like they, they have very rudimentary physics they're or they're in 2d and 2d Physics engines actually pretty easy to do. I can do that. But we're talking 3D here. This is what I want to stick with is 3D. So, yeah. Um, I, I'm trying to find what I can as far as physics is concerned. That's what I'm looking for. So if you guys know anything, I'm going to save that too just in case. So if you guys know anything on this topic as far as C or maybe you can find an actual physics engine, that is in 3D, a 3D physics engine, but in C, let me know. I've even looked at here, that was no help because nobody replied to this. This guy's trying to figure it out as well. He says he's working on an actual blah, 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 and he's trying to incorporate a physics engine, a 3D physics engine to this. Notice that he has code here, but none of it's like useful because... I would need to know the other aspects of all this, and he doesn't share that. And this is a five-year-old message, and guess what? Nobody's replied. Nobody. So, yeah, I mean, I this is the only one I could find that was C. And uh, it was just a question, I guess, and I guess it never got answered. So this is what I keep running into, and I think this is why... Everybody keeps writing a C++ game engine. I think this is the reason. And as much as it pains me to admit it, I may have to use C++ if I can't figure out a 3D alternative, uh, 3D alternative in C. So I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention, show you what the problem is. Because, you know, I'm looking in the future. I want to make a game. So to do that, I need all the info I can get. And I have everything else. I can make music. I can make video. I can do everything else except physics. 
the physics engine and for 3D. 2D, I can do. 3D, I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so, please, uh, if you guys know anything, let me know and uh, get back to me. If um, you, you know, if I can't find anything, I may have to switch over to, back to C++. I may have no choice here. And just so everybody's clear here, you know, I know that some folks here, um, going to the community here, I know that some folks uh, here and here, this is almost at 50%, and this is the other 50%, give or take, that people have chosen. And I know you want to see tutorial, but really these folks here just want a refresher and only a handful, probably like two people out of all 14 votes, probably about two people want, maybe four people, want an actual, you know, hey, I'm new to C. So what I'm going to give you is this. Contact me through my about. You have uh, access to my uh, Discord, and I'll help you one-on-one. -on -one. That's what I'm going to do. And so, I'm not, in other words, I won't be making the actual videos, but I can actually help you directly. And we can even get into voice, and I'll show you how C works. It's C is actually very simple. It's not as complicated as it may seem. You just have to know the difference between C and C++. Like I showed earlier, if you see, and I'm just going to write it here, if you see things like string, and it's surrounded by brackets, that is C++. If you see string, but it has a dot H, that is C. Things like that, those things help you to know what you're looking at and what you're looking for. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, I guess I'll catch you all later. Bye.